Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Micro Monsters. Now, we usually do electronics and gaming and computing and stuff like that, but this week we're going to do something a bit different. So, N and I have another passion other than all those things that we normally do, and that is for a comic in the UK called The Beano. And this year's a really big year for The Beano, because The Beano is now 80 years old. It's been going since 1938, which, if you believe it or not, is actually much older than me. Look, he's like 81 <laughs> or so, but... I'm not. So every uh, kind of birthday, the Beano bring out something special. So uh, I remember being quite young and the Beano had its 50th and they brought out a special 50th um, weekly comic. Um, so it comes out once a week. Uh, Natasha gets it at the moment, don't you? Mm -hmm. uh, and then in the same year, they brought out this kind of nice album of Beano and Dandy. And it was great for me because it introduced me to loads of old characters that I'd never heard about before. Um, that's the Bash Street Kids, which everyone should have heard about. Um, people like Pansy Potter and General Jumbo and all those kind of people. Billy and then, the cat. yeah, Billy the Cat, all kinds of people. And then, uh, 70 years, they brought out this, which was kind of special, slightly bigger cod comic that we picked up the other day. I picked it up at a boot sale. Uh, and then, actually, because it's the 80th year this year, they brought out an 80th comic. This is Natasha's one that came out. Uh, it was a special 80th comic with David Walliams as the chief editor. But what we're going to show you today is something that they brought out kind of special, super special to celebrate 80 years. Uh, and we're going to show you a review of it. So what it is, is this here. It's like a, a folder of 80 years of Beano with some amazing stuff in. And we're going to show you what's in it. So you can get this online. It costs £25. You get it from um, the Beano shop or DC Thompson's online, I think it is. Um, at the moment, that's the only place I've seen it online. I haven't seen it anywhere else um, that you can get it from. And so we've, uh, we bought it the other day and we're going to see what it's like. So do you want to um, pull it out? <laughs> okay, so the front bit comes off like that. Easy peasy. It's really nice. And then inside you can see is a folder of lots of different things. So we're going to take them out one at a time and show you what's in there. So, should we start with the best thing? That I knew was in here. Yeah. Do you want to show everyone that? Tell them what it is. It is the Dennis the Menace Fang Club. Also, Nash's Fang Club. Fang Club, yeah. And look, Nash's eyes are all wobbly. So this was something, a little wallet with two badges in and a membership card that came out when I was a little boy and you used to be able to send off for it and you haven't been able to get it for years. And they've actually started making it again. It's part of this. And I couldn't have one. Yeah, but you've now. got one now, yeah. So Many years ago, I had one. So there's mine. And it's cheesy picture. With my embarrassing photo and my old address. Huh. But you can see they've made a brilliant replica of it. Yeah. Um, you can buy this separately online. It costs £10, I think. Uh, I think that's including postage. So we actually have our own one now. And they're actually quite rare. You can, you have to pay good money for them on eBay to get them, especially if they're blank. So that's a brilliant start. Very worth it. Very worth it for that. Should we see what's next? Yay! I want to pull it. Uh, so start with this. Ah, start with those things. We have some lovely little postcards of the Beano books. We have definitely got this Beano book. So if we hold these up the right way, hopefully, you can see. Oh, the right way. way. <laughs> so these are from Beano Annuals. They're little A5 postcards, just of the front cover. Uh, this is hey, really, really old one. one. Number Do we own any of these ones? I we, we, own that one. we definitely own that one. I think mm -hmm. that's maybe that about 1986. Does it say? 96. It doesn't say. Uh, we haven't got that one. That's 1970 something. Uh, that one's really early because it's got well, some really early characters. And then this one is. So it's got a battery grid, so it's not too crazily old. So there's some nice postcards. What's next? Now we have a National Snapper. Nasha Snapper. So that yeah, the things you go, wow! Yeah, so the Beano is really well known for giving away free things on the cover, and this was given away at some point. And you kind of fold it up together, and then you bring it down. As you bring it down, it makes a snap noise. But we're going to keep that one in pristine condition, because we've got another one somewhere, haven't we, that we've used before. Oh, yeah. I'm not good at that one. Okay, you're going to hold this one up to the camera? We have a giant... Can you guess the character? Of course you can. Dan is the man is typical British schoolboy. Yeah, so an A4 poster of um, probably the Beano's most famous character, not the longest running character, but one of the most famous, probably our favourite, because we've both got Dennis Topps on, of Dennis the Menace. So different than the, Menace, uh, the American Dennis the Menace, this is the proper British Dennis the Menace. Mm -hmm. Now, if okay. we unload all of them, we have some comics. So what we have here is a whole load of replica comics. Mm -hmm. So we'll go through them all one at a time. So this one is from... 
uh, March the 29th, 1986. This is just before I started reading Umino. So I checked and we don't actually have this one. So it's made really well. It's printed, I think it's probably scanned from the originals. It's roughly the same color that the original is, printed in the same way. And this was a, a period of time where Nasher had gone missing. missing. Yeah, so they're trying to find Nasher. So all the stories you see, uh, Nasher is crossed out in that Dennis the Menace. So this is a perfect, it's the right size. It's beautifully printed, really, really nice edition. So that's 1986. The next storm we have is, I don't, oh, it's 1976. This is the year before I was born, but actually, it looks pretty similar. Those of you who uh, know your artist in the Beano, these are still drawn by the same person. Style, so Dennis looks pretty similar. Yeah. So we've never read that one, have we? And it'll be really nice. Inside, if I show you carefully, it's got a lot of our favorite characters. Biffo the bear there. It's a really nice reproduction. Now yeah. we're starting to get a little bit older, aren't we? What have oh, we got here? It's Biffo the bear. And this is 1960. 1960, October 29th. So it's got Biffo the bear on the front. Uh, a fun character which we have read called Jonah on the back there. Oh, Remember yeah, Jonah? Jonah the, the who fisherman. keeps sinking everything. He kind of reminds me of Calamity James, but like the sailor version. Yeah. Because he only. I, like, I to don't sink. like to read that comic because it's kind of long. And the next one we have is another bit of the bear. Oh, it's a really old very, one. Very, very So long. this is 1951. So it's got Biffo the bear on the front, who was on the front for quite a long while, mm -hmm. uh, before Dennis took over. Now and on the Pansy back, Potter. it's got Pansy Potter, the one I was talking about earlier. So another really beautiful, and they look just like, I mean, I've seen some of these old ones. They really are brilliantly well done reproductions. Now. What have we got now? Even before Biffo even took before over, Biffo. Big Echo, who is now kind of in the comics on the Beano. Yeah. So this is a reproduction of July the 30th, 1938. <laughs> Which is what? 1938. Oh, that's first, 80 years ago! This is the first edition of the Beano. It's exactly what it looked like all that time ago, 80 years ago. And you can see inside, a little bit different than today's Beano and the Beano I remember, it actually had some quite long stories. You've got little stories with long, pa long panels of text and you've actually got mm -hmm. full stories like this. But yes, Ego was the first character on the Beano, wasn't it? Yeah. We've read a little bit of it before. So that's a really nice thing to own. Um, if, if we owned the original, and there's only like 10 or something of the original, one of them sold for something like £22,000. How crazy is that? And this is number 272, 1945. They're 1945. getting older. So these are the two kind of oldest ones, this one. And this has got uh, Ego still on the front there. So these are really, really nice reproductions, and we're going to be very, very careful when we read those, yes. aren't we? Now we what have, have we a next? giant, giant poster. Okay, let's unfold this, and you can tell everyone about it, see if you can recognise some of the characters. These characters may be drawn different, but that's okay. Name some of so, your favourites that you can see. Billy the cat and his sister. Um, the cat, that is... Um, isn't that... What's his name? Lord Snooty's gran. That's the... Th 13, number 13. This is key, key, uh, key so lock big. someone. This is the, um. Should we get it really close to the camera? This, these are the Nick Knocks. I don't know. So it's got characters from over the last 80 years. I don't know if it's got every single character. My That'd be crazy, buddy, I think. But I think lots of the really well known and less well known. Kid and thing. thankfully, even though we know a lot of them, on the back, we have it's the an same episode. with an appendix. It kind of tells us where everyone is and what they are. So that's a really nice A zero mm. poster, isn't it? Yeah. So. Did you walk into the camera? Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, fold that up later. Did you walk into the camera? You did a little yeah. bit. Right. What have we got left? So, oh, we've got oh, a few more editions yeah. of the Beano. Uh, so this one is a slightly newer one. This was two thousand and one. It's a really nice reproduction again. So this is before, this is a period of time we haven't got many because I stopped collecting between then and Tasha didn't start till a bit later. And this one is a world record Beano for how many comics A I've world made. record Beano. Mm -hmm. what, what date does it say? It's the 3,800th issue. So that makes it, by the Guinness World Records, the longest running weekly comic in the world, mm -hmm. Beano. That's, that's amazing. So this is definitely probably a very new, new, one well, that I would probably get like tomorrow. Maybe no, it's this week. I, I think this was inside two thousand two thousand or something. Like well, it can't be because no, that they news. they've now they've got the same thing as us awesome because Maybe. there wasn't an editor but editor in like two thousand seventeen, so they made kids the editors. Can we find a date? Wait, that's not the editor though. 
Yeah. Must be a date somewhere. It it's a world record, isn't it? I'm not sure we've got that. Yeah, I want Right, so lastly, I think, nothing else in here after I've taken the thing that's here. They've got a really nice book <laughs> celebrating 80 years of the Beano. And so it isn't like some of the others where they just reprint old comics. This has got lots of information about um, the characters, the artists, about how it was made, all the history of it. So it's like a, a history book of the Beano. It's got one of the editors there, you Ewan. Care. Lots of things about lots of different artists. There's a real kind of treasure of loads of oh, information all about like the Beano. Annuals, like 2013 yeah. annuals. So that would be a really nice thing, maybe for me to read more than you, but mm -hmm. you'll still be interested in it as well. So that's everything that's in the box. I think it was a really brilliant box, a brilliant way of celebrating uh, 80 years of the Beano, wasn't it? So I think it was worth £25. Do you think it was worth £25? Yeah. Pound? I think I'm kind of tempted to buy another one just so that we've got one we can read and one we can keep really really well they're meant to be a limited edition so if you want to go and get one I recommend you go and get one now yeah um, like we're gonna right have right now just right now rush out out the door and go and get it to quickly just watch this video watch this video first would be good yeah yeah so actually tomorrow is the 30th of July 2018 so, so tomorrow what? is gonna be the Beano's 80th birthday so this Happy birthday, Beano! Happy birthday! See you next time. Don't but forget to subscribe. Subscribe!